Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG. Hello! Tony has gotten over his uh, dawning realization that the gems were meant to buy look, keys. But look at look at Creeperbot here, he's like, hey, hey you kids wanna see something cool? Hey. Look at me! Oh my god, look at me! Oh, look Ooh. at my stuff! It's even creepier because his, he, like, his, lifts off his, his, yeah, his head. His neck extends and his arm oh. goes... <laughs> like, my yeah, god. But... That's some creepy ass shit, man. All right, I so you bought it. you bought two keys. Yeah, you bought two I keys. I like the key. I like the music in that too. I yeah, like I the keys in that. Yeah, I like the keys in that music. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the music is is single handedly like one of the best things about oh, this game. Oh hell, to the yeah. And like by no means is it a make it or break. It. <laughs> <laughs> by no means is the music a make make it or break it element of this game. Right, but no. like it sets the feel so. So goddamn well. It really does. It definitely does. Let's see, is there any Yeah, whoever their composer is, I feel like they, they really picked up some cues from uh from Fez. Ah oh, man, I forgot the composer's name. But yeah, the guy that wrote the music for Fez. Well I think you just put up on top of the screen once you figure it out, you know? You yeah, I can do that. We should because I know he's, the he's one of my favorite composers. He's I know done a the, lot the of three stuff guys too. who made Poncho from Delve Interactive. They're all really cool about, damn it. Like, being like, hey, you should hit us up with, like, you know, information. We're more than happy to help. Yeah, uh, they, when I asked for a, a press copy, they just gave it to me without question. Yeah, right. How was cool that? I was like, it's really cool, but at the same time, it's like, be, be careful, guys. Like, get your money's worth. You put yeah, a right, lot of true. good work into this that's, game. That's a very good point. It's like, <laughs> don't get ripped off by greedy dick wad. Yeah, and, and that's one thing that I, I worry that people at some point will will kind of abuse is that they're... Right, when you, you put you, something you, like that you on your website, gem. did I miss the gem? We'll go, we'll go back, we'll go back, God. And uh, I've noticed that a lot of indie devs will will give out press copies pretty right there. Um, easily, and like, that's, that's good. I feel like you shouldn't be a stickler about it, especially right. because YouTube coverage right now is one of the best ways no, to it's, promote it's, your it's game. No, it's such a good way to, especially for indie games. Absolutely. Like, for because, AAA titles, what are the, yeah, because I mean, it's it's usually free um, mm -hmm. unless you have to sponsor someone, and then you know they they go through and they can actually talk about your game. I guess most YouTubers out there are a bit more reactive than we right, are. Right, than we are. But I think what we offer something that a lot of other channels don't, and that's like an actual in-depth look at why we think these games are worth playing. That's, I mean, that's what I hope happens, right? You know, and, and of course, that's what that's always what the hope is. You want to make sure that people are digging what you are throwing out there. Yeah, but oh, I, I... Oh, oh wow, actually you worked. actually did it. What get the? out of there, get out of there! Okay. Oh. We good. This doesn't do anything for me. That's why uh, we are not playing games like Devil May Cry for ever again in the future, starting with the new year. Because because fuck that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I get that people like that game. Don't get me wrong, and that's yeah. that's fine. But you like can, you can have your opinions. It's like liking you, a well, button, yeah, you know. You, like you can enjoy those games, I won't knock it. But if if we, as the people running the show, don't have enough good things to say about it, we should probably not there, there, play it. There is, right? It's like if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Yeah, and and I feel like that philosophy comes across in the show pretty well. I, I think, think that's... so. That's definitely. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Grand Gem Master. I pick up enough gems after I get that last one. Got, I'm gonna that get there. that last one. Oh shit! I almost decided to just jump. <laughs> Oh, okay, so let's talk about the, the respawn mechanics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I can die really quick. No, it's... I won't. So the respawn mechanics, I think, are, are pretty spot on. Yeah! I don't know if you've ever died in quick succession. Um, so when you die, you go to the last place that you you stood on solid ground. Yes. And those moving platforms aren't considered solid ground, so it just moves you back onto the grass. Right. Um, now, if you die in quick succession, I think, like, three or four times in a row... Is this um, the world is meant to be, Chris? <laughs> Continue. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually a really important rel, important and relevant question to yeah, this game. Right. Um, but if you die very fast, the game realizes you might have gotten stuck in an infinite loop of death. So it actually remembers up to maybe three or four, three spots, or four spots that yep. you, it can respawn you to. And maybe even more than that. I don't I don't know I for sure. So but... But yeah, it's yeah. it simultaneously hurt me and helped me in this yes. game. Yes, oh man, when we get to that one level, like right after the um that one spot, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> for lack of better words, so I don't ruin things for people. I, I don't even... I mean, you could be talking about ten things, for all I know. Okay, let's try right this game, there. buddy. I am so... Oh, I, I like this, too, how you can kind of see through platforms. Yeah, no, Sometimes it's good. It's I good. feel like the transparency isn't quite enough. No, because I definitely <laughs> fell the first time, because I was just like, oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't think I can get there yet. I have to come back from a later level. They're generally... Well, see, and since death is inconsequential, it's I think it's okay to hide things. They're generally good at kind of, like, hinting, like, oh, hey, there's a platform over here. Right. Maybe you want to go this way? Sort of, Maybe. Um, and even like in, in that spot where you couldn't actually see the platform in the next layer, layer, if you died, then you'd see it, and then, then you'd be like, okay, well, yeah, I'll just move a little that's bit that's to the left, and then I'll jump on the platform. I'm, I'm dead. So let's see how we did, Chris. Let's see how we did. Well, you definitely didn't get all the gems. Well, you can't yet. No, you can't. You just can't. Let's see how we did. 37 on 96. Jesus, there's 96? Woo! Yeah, I don't even know if I've gotten oh, all the know, gems out of there. Oh, you know, going backwards when you get those other keys, there's probably more gems that way. Oh, yes. No, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, we haven't even seen it yet, but there are other things to go back to earlier levels for also. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember when I was first playing this game, oh, God, this shit. Uh, oh... Yeah, these moving platforms become a pretty pivotal part oh, of the game. Yep, I forgot and that. Yep, yep. They are single-handedly the, the thing that makes me as a player aggravated. And, like, as a designer, I understand why they put it here, and it's because it's interesting and challenging. Um, but, man, I don't know. Dude, this, this gets frustrating as fuck. It, it really I does. I was getting so mad. Like, it's. Uh, I think it's the one thing that would make... Any player rage quit, really. Yeah, and this this is what made me rage quit in a little bit. We'll get to a level where I'm just like, oh. jump, 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 jump. There no, you. not yet. Oh, oh, jump to get that. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes too. I think the most aggravating part of these. No. I mean, that's, that's a good. Well, you can jump over there. Well, not anymore. not anymore. But that's a good example of why, partly why it can be so aggravating, is because some of the platforms move so slowly. Yes, it's like you, you really can't time out the jumps. All like, they give you the keys to time out the jumps, but you get so used to timing out one set of jumps. Exactly. The the pace changes too much, and then in addition to that, once you fail, if you just have to sit and wait for the ten seconds for it to actually make that that transition. Um, it becomes frustrating because you don't, as a player, you don't want to just sit there and kind of like. Right. No, you don't. Like, wait like for who, stuff who, who wants to wait for stuff to happen? And it's not that kind of game either. Like, no. I know Fez is a very like stop and smell the roses kind of game, but I don't think this one really is. This one doesn't have that same like. There's a little bit more stress to the game, um, and I think that's a good thing. It, it. Oh yeah, no, no, most definitely. I think very that's an important thing. way of like helping it stand out from something like Fez <laughs> instead of feeling too similar. And I know the mechanics are totally different yeah. too, but. So I'm just being a fresh. Fuck. Nope. No, I don't care. Ooh. You know what? This is early in the game, guys. This is early in the game, and th this is where my problem comes. I feel like this really slows the game down. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, I mean, we're, we're kind of nope. It does get both better and worse. Like, yeah, it, they're the levels that revolve around I'm, these I'm themes. I'm gonna go and get all those gems over there, but if this takes too long. Yeah. So here's the thing: with this game, we're probably not going to do 100% completion yeah, and get all the gems. For, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. we should keep going. Yeah. I, honestly, I think if we are having a hard time getting some gems, let's just pass it. Let's just pass it, right? Unless no. we need it to buy keys. Right. If we need to buy keys, and I can always come back. That's the nice thing about this game. Once you get to the graveyard later, it gives you a purpose for why to come back. Mm -hmm. And if people really want to see 100% completion, we could even kind of do some of that off game. Yeah. Or we could even stream some of it and uh, kind of show you what happens yeah, if you, you get to that point. Yeah, you how frustrated I get. But I that, that one's a little bit nebulous. I'd like to see what people want to see before we come to that decision. Jump up there. Make it. What? Why'd you do this? Ah, I don't know. I, I I done goofed. Well, you can't make that one. Here, no, 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 no. Go go back. Go back. Now jump up there. Like, I can't jump up there from there. Oh, it still is too high. Yeah. Me have remained. <laughs> I like the little glitchy death thing. Yeah, though. no, the glitchy death is great until you see it a thousand times. Yeah, I mean, there there is that. <laughs> oh, that's just because I suck. Wait. <laughs> oh. Oh, good. Something about the art, too, that I want to point out is that yeah, they're Yeah, please point of... out why I'm failing. 
their use of color is phenomenal. I know that I'm, I'm partially colorblind, but, like, they make the world feel very interesting and vibrant. Yes! Despite it being post-apocalyptic. But I think that's important because oh, it's, it's post-apocalyptic in the sense of, like, humanity is dead. Right, what, you, what, what I like about this is that they don't go with, like, a drab world. Right. They decide that their world doesn't need to be that. Right, the world didn't die because of some, like, horrible nuclear explosion, like Fallout. Instead, you know, people seem to have stopped being a thing. Yes. And the nature has returned to consume the world. And over the last few centuries, everything has turned to rust and ruin. Yeah. What I like about this is it's very much that I... I like these a lot. Uh, yeah, you like them, I hate them. No, I don't hate them, I'm just... I mean, I, I like the this puzzle mechanic because it's so... I, I think they underutilized it, honestly, but I think it, it it's very interesting because it's kind of like jigsawing these pieces together so that you can navigate where you want to go. What are you trying to do? I don't know. I'm just being a goof. <laughs> uh, oh, this doesn't do anything this right. Can you can you get into that little square to the right? I should be able to. Oh, no. no. Oh, hold on, wait. I think I'm missing something that's really simple here. Oh, yeah. Just jump up there. Yeah, just jump up there. Duh. And then jump up to the next one. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Oh, mm. I know what to do. Oh, what? Boop. Hey, we're gonna boop. Boop the scoop, and then we'll oh, go there. Yeah, there we're you gonna go. go there. You we'll did it! There. And while I'm over there, let me grab that. You don't actually have to jump for that one. Fine. I don't want to jump for it anyway. Sometimes that's necessary. You get to a point where there's a lot of, like... That works. That's actually exactly what I want. I guess that is kind of one hard thing to tell sometimes is that when you need to jump. Well, yeah, since since they have that layering system, you know, it's um. Can I reach they, that if I jump back down and then no? The reach key. Where? Oh, the key? Wait, wait, go back. There, there's a key down here, down that down there, and that. Oh, you need to do so the next puzzle yeah, yeah. piece, I think. So go go back and then yeah. You need to shift, I think, the... That one. Is the back one green? The back one is green. Okay, so I think the next switch will shift the green one, which will allow you to get the key. Yes. Did you shift it already, though? I, I think you shifted it twice. Okay, so now jump in that little square. See, I do that a lot. That's my big problem. I mean, it doesn't move if you're... if you keep standing on it. So I would hit the switch... And then hit it again, and then uh, just yeah, there you go. And then I that? think now if you go Back go down. go left, and jump, and then yeah, and now hit the blue yeah, there switch. We go. No, 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 we. Oh, okay, yeah, there you go. Bam. I think if I hit the blue switch, I should be able to hit the green key. Yes. See, okay, so this is this is why I like it though. Okay, yeah, now you can get into that little square. Oh yeah, now go that yep, 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 yep. Nope. <laughs> hey, that's really my biggest problem in this game is just because it was so easy in the in like on the keyboard to Oh maybe that doesn't take no, you that anywhere. Does not, mm, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, go. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay, well. We'll figure out how to get that key in the next episode, yeah, I think. Is already that time? It is that time indeed. Okay. Uh, we actually went a little long. Um, but question of the day. I'd actually like to hear what people think about the use of color in this game. Mm -hmm. Or even, even the aesthetic in general. Um, but do you think that... Um, I don't know. Do you think that the use of color kind of stands out and it yeah, right. makes sense for the world? Right. I think it kind of like creates a, a different world than kind of what we would have expected from post-apocalyptic game. So, uh... Yeah, I think that's a good question, man. I think that's an absolutely good question. Very valid. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, All right, everybody. We'll see you later. See you guys. Thanks for watching.